I actually think it's really important that we actually have a day where we pause and we actually have conversations that we haven't had before. There's opportunity for white people, for black and brown people, for uh, Asians, for everyone to have conversations within their own groups about their experience, but then also to realize that the conversations that you've had with yourself, the healing you've had with yourselves, the healings that you've had with your own people actually allows you to be open to have some pretty honest and hard conversations with folks who are, uh, who are different from you. Like how can black and white and brown and Asian folks, all of us talk to each other about our experiences together in society, in this world. And like using that as an opportunity to like, to share what's been hurtful and harmful and to be honest. What I've discovered is that it's not only the conversation but it is the actions that we take, that we do after the conversations. So what I want to push upon, I think, and what I think is exciting, is to have a day of racial healing where we begin to have a day that's almost a work plan of what we're going to do for the other hundreds of days that follows that day, in which we live out what we've talked about in the day of racial healing, where we have a work plan where we hold each other accountable for what we've agreed to do to heal after after we have the conversations, after we have a moving day uh, of, lib of, of liberative conversations. We need, we need hundreds of days of actions to concretize what we've talked about.